click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topics we have discussed about the alpha decay and beta decay and finally we are going to talk about the gamma decay. So what is gamma decay? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, here I'm going to talk about the gamma decay. So let us understand. The gamma radiation is always accompanied with alpha and beta decay process. And obviously we understand that is gamma radiations are very much harmful and obviously they will produce more energy. So this is what I'm going to talk about. So let us talk about the gamma decay. So let me take an example of uh, uranium having an atomic mass number of 238 and having the atomic number as 92. Suppose if this uranium, if it gives us an alpha decay and obviously we are going to talk about the gamma decay, it is accompanied with alpha and beta decay. So suppose if it gives us thorium having an atomic number of 90 and atomic mass number of 234. So that means we could say that is the particle that has been produced is helium having an atomic number of 2 and atomic mass number of 4. So this is nothing but this is the alpha particle I am talking about. So here we can find that is the thorium which has been produced it is of an excited state and whenever it will de-excite it will emit energy in the form of gamma rays. And this is nothing but the gamma decay. So here what actually it means. Suppose if we consider that is uranium whenever it undergoes through a that is gamma decay it will produce two kinds of energy that is the energy will be divided into two parts that is suppose 23 percent and the other is 77 percent. So 23 percent of the decay whenever it has happened we could find that is the energy level we could obtain is 14.138 mega electron volt. So there are two kinds of energy level we could get. The first one is of 23% and the other one is 77%. So what is the 23% of the energy we get? We receive 4.147 MeV of the energy which is nothing but the 23% and the other 77% 4.195 MeV. So here basically whenever the thorium is being produced obviously this will be the one which will be very much excited and whenever it will get de-excite it will produce an energy of 0 0.048 MeV. So that is how basically the gamma decay is. So this is one of the example and this is how basically we have discussed about the gamma decay in brief and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.